505 Games has unveiled the release date for Ghost Runner 2 as October 26, available on PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. A new trailer displays intense platforming action and introduces motorcycle segments, along with new adversaries. Fans can pre-order, including the brutal edition priced at $70, offering early access from October 24 and additional in-game perks. Atari is reviving its classic Atari 2600 console from the 70s and 80s, rebranding it as the Atari 2600 Plus. This modern version will be compatible with original cartridges and boasts an HDMI output, USB power, and multiple screen resolutions while retaining the iconic wood panel design. Scheduled to release on November 17th, the console is priced at $130. The package includes a replica of the original joystick and 10 classic games. Additional games and replica controllers will also be available for purchase. While this isn't the first attempt by Atari to bring back a classic, it promises a nostalgic experience for fans. Tekken 8, set to launch on 26 of January, 2024 for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X-S. Pre-orders available now. At Gamescom Opening Night Live, Tekken creators introduced the latest game trailer, highlighting a new single-player mode that emphasizes a personalized story experience. This mode incorporates AI-powered learning elements, enhancing gameplay as players advance through the story. The development team expressed their enthusiasm, hoping players will relish the new features. Cyberpunk 2077 is set to unveil its true potential with an impressive update, as teased by developer CD Projekt Red during the Gamescom opening night live. The upcoming DLC, Phantom Liberty, will be launched next month and introduced various enhancements, including new weapons. Notably, players will experience revamped cyberware, perks, a relic skill tree, innovative vehicle combat, and an overhauled police system. CDPR announced that the redesigned skill trees, revamped police system, and vehicle combat would be part of the free Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 update for Xbox Series X-S, PlayStation 5, and PC. After facing a turbulent launch full of bugs in 2020, this update represents a pivotal moment in Cyberpunk 2077's evolution, bringing it closer to its original vision. Night Dive Studios, renowned for remastering classics like System Shock and Quake 2, has unveiled its latest project, the Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. Developed in partnership with Lucasfilm Games, the remaster is set to launch on PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X-S, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. The game will offer up to 4K resolution at 120fps, with features like advanced 3D rendering, gamepad support, trophies, and achievements. Although Night Dive hints at more surprises, specifics remain under wraps. While there is no confirmed release date yet, further details are expected before the end of the year. Supermassive Games has taken the reins to develop Little Nightmares 3, set to release in 2024 on various platforms. The game will offer both solo and online co-op modes. Previously, the franchise's first two titles were produced by Tarsier Studios, but following their acquisition by Embracer in 2021, Bandai Namco retained the rights and transitioned development to Supermassive. The third installment introduces characters low and alone, trapped in the eerie spiral, with location like the Sandy Necropolis. Gameplay in Little Nightmares 3 will involve collaborative puzzles and navigating menacing threats, especially from the looming enemy, Monster Baby. Additionally, to further delve into the series' lore, Bandai Namco is launching The Sounds of Nightmares, a six-part podcast detailing stories from the Little Nightmares universe. Sonic enthusiasts received exciting updates during Gamescom opening night live, revealing release dates for both Sonic Superstars and Sonic Frontiers The Final Horizon content patch. 
Sonic Superstars, a colorful side-scrolling game with a four-player co-op feature, is set to launch on October 17th for various gaming platforms. Meanwhile, Sonic Frontiers, recognized for its unique 3D open zone concept, will receive its third and concluding free update titled The Final Horizon on September 28th. This update teases new narrative elements, playable characters such as Tails, Knuckles, and Amy, and fresh challenges. Previous updates included a birthday-themed edition in June and a March update with features like a jukebox, photo mode, and novel challenge modes. No Man's Sky unveils its latest free update, Echoes, on 24th of August, bringing a slew of new features and gameplay elements to the space exploration simulator. A highlight of the update is the introduction of freighter-to-freighter combats and Star Wars-inspired trench runs, allowing players to engage in large-scale space battles. The game will also debut a new robot race named the Autophage, marking the first new species since its 2016 release. Players can engage with this robotic race through fresh story content and tasks, earning mechanical parts to customize their characters. The update also showcases new weapons, tools, jetpack trails, and a feature that lets players display their favorite finds in a holographic museum within their base. Other enhancements include improvements in rendering quality, performance boosts, and visual upgrades for platforms like PSVR 2 and Switch. Additionally, a new exploration-centric limited-time expedition named Voyagers is set to release shortly, bringing exclusive rewards. The Echoes update is available for Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and PC, with comprehensive patch notes accessible on Hello Games' official site. A Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl is set to debut in the first quarter of 2024, as revealed by developer GSC Game World. Although previously rumored for a December release, a specific date for the next year's launch hasn't been provided. The first-person shooter survival horror game will be available on PC and Xbox Series X/S. For those interested, pre-orders are already open, with various editions available. Additionally, the game will be immediately accessible on Game Pass upon its release. Night Dive Studios is set to release the Toric 3 Shadow of Oblivion remaster for PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch on 14th November. The original game was launched in 2000 for N64 and Game Boy Color. In this final installment of the trilogy, players take on the roles of Joseph and Danielle Fireseed, aiming to vanquish the Oblivion and its Flesh Eater minions. This remaster, based on the N64 version, marks the game's re-entry after its initial release. Promised enhancements include upgraded art for environments and characters, refined weapon models, and sophisticated rendering features like anti-aliasing and motion blur. The game supports up to 4K 120fps performance on major platforms, and controller features comprise rumble, gyro controls for the Switch, and achievements or trophies on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox. Bulletstorm VR is scheduled for release on 14th December, offering players an intense combat experience in the virtual realm. The announcement was made during Gamescom opening night live, accompanied by a fresh trailer. The game's narrative follows Grayson Hunt, who crash lands on a deserted resort planet and is faced with a dilemma to prioritize survival or seek revenge. The developer teased on Twitter that players should prepare for a riveting VR combat, encouraging them to wreak havoc in their pursuit of retribution. Bulletstorm VR will be compatible with PSVR 2, MetaQuest 2, and PC VR. Those who pre-order can avail a 10% discount. Epic Games is gearing up for the launch of Fortnite's Chapter 4 Season 4, titled The Final Resort. Recent teasers hinted at a heist theme, 
which the trailer confirmed. It showcases a new group of characters on a mission to retrieve a golden skull from the Fortnite character, Oro. The trailer gives a sneak peek into new gameplay elements, including lightning grenades, laser traps, and a briefcase concealed gun turret. A key antagonist, Kato Thorn, makes an appearance, his bat wings suggesting a connection to the upcoming Fortnite Mare's Halloween event. Epic's description paints Thorn as a vampire draining the island's riches to fund lavish estates. Players are tasked with thwarting his plans and reclaiming the island's treasures. The season will be available on various platforms including Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Switch, and Mobile from 24th August. The unsettling indie horror game, Scorn, is set to make its debut on PS5 on October 3rd, following its initial release on PC and Xbox Series X S in 2022. The game presents a unique experience, offering no hand-holding, dialogue, quest markers, or user interface. Players navigate through labyrinthine environments that could either bewilder them into quitting or provide a deeply immersive horror experience. While reviews have been mixed, Scorn is noted for its extreme environmental storytelling. It's a game that's likely to polarize its audience, but promises an intense, rewarding experience for those who enjoy solving its enigmatic puzzles and surviving its horrifying world. Given its challenging nature and the fact that it doesn't guide the player, the game is a hit or miss. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching, until next time.